Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the cylinder lock for a thermocool walk-in cooler. This is a THRM415500 is the part number that's there. Uh, thermocool uh, is... Commercial refrigeration is not what we get into. What we do get into, though, are, are locks. And there is a cam, there is a disc tumbler or a wafer tumbler lock that works in the lock that operates that, um, that door. And here it is. And we're going to do a quick review of this lock. And I have one removed from the packaging. And when it arrives, um, it's not disassembled at all. In fact, let me show you what it looks like when it arrives to you. Well, it, the the plug is is likely going to be in the housing. The cam may not be attached or installed. Uh, it was on one, and it wasn't on a, a different unit. Let's take a look here. My well, point being is that the cylinder may or may not come installed. Well, if it's already installed and the cam or the tailpiece is not installed, you're going to have to remove that plug. And I'll show you just how to do that. It's, it's, it's simple. Just takes a little bit of patience, perhaps. Obviously, the cylinder retaining nut. So the key will insert and it will rotate. Okay, the key won't come out, the plug won't come out. There is a spring-loaded retaining clip that's inside of here. Right at the tip of my finger, there's a small hole. Well, inside of there is that spring-loaded clip, and I simply have a giveaway key ring here that I've bent so that I can insert it there and I can depress. I can feel the I can feel that clip depress. I can kind of just scooch it a little bit, but sometimes. Sometimes it just requires a little more work to get that out. And frankly, what I end up using is a, um, a, a, a broken key extractor just to get in front of the cylinder plug a little bit and just hook it and, and coax it out a little bit. So let me grab that tool. I am certainly no one talented with a pick set, but that that's to be sure. But it's a tool that you know you're going to use in locksmithing, just as uh, any other tool that you might use. So I'm going to use my bent little clip here to hold that ring down, and just get the end of my tool hooked inside of there, and I can be able to pull that out without too much trouble. Yep, there it goes. Okay, I did put that in a little too far. I'm going to need to extract that carefully. Not a problem. Just a little hook tool. Uh, um, like a broken key extractor is what I would use this for. Get inside of there, hook it around the key and get it pulled out. It's not unusual to get a call on a Friday and the client says, yeah, my key's broken off. Can you come get me in? And you're thinking all you need is a little sharp tool, a hook on that key and, and pull it out and then go get yourself another key cut. Um, but anyway, that's what a service call is. So here's the plug. There are the five... Uh, disc tumblers or wafer tumblers they're captive inside the plug that's that spring-loaded retaining clip that's in there that will rest inside of a groove on the inside of the plug and it's accessed by this hole that's here there's one on either side so that you can put it you can put the cylinder in any way that you really like um, the there are five disc tumblers and therefore there are five cuts on this key okay uh, one, two, three, four, five. And the disc tumblers are basically a, a rectangular piece of metal, and inside of it they have a cut. Well, the height or maybe the depth of that cut is directly related to how deep the cut is on the key. So a shallower cut will have a, you know, a correspondingly uh, adjusted cut on the blank of the key. Uh, and that's why you get different cuts here. But it's a disc tumbler lock is what it is. That key will go in. Okay. When the key goes in, 
it will bring all of the tumblers flush. And that's what keeps it locked. When the tumblers are projecting out, they will rest inside of a groove that's in here. There's one at either end because, again, you can put the cylinder in either way that you like. Well, when the key is pulled out, those projecting tumblers prevent the cylinder from rotating inside of the housing. So the way to install this is to put the key in. You're going to want to pinch that down a little bit. The installation instructions, which we'll talk touch on in a moment, shows you to kind of bring it into this orientation so that you can depress the clip. We're not going to do that just yet because I want to get the tailpiece put in place. This has that sort of worm track. You get that placed in there. These two posts are what will drive this lock back and forth. You might need to move that unit ever so slightly to get it in, but probably not too much. I'm going to bring, I put my tailpiece in, that T sort of cam. I'm going to get that tipped in to where I can feel the clip come back down. I'm going to push that in and then it snaps in place. Okay. At that point, you're in real good shape. It went right together. Now the lock's assembled. Okay. Should you need to um, reverse that, get a little tool to press that clip carefully, you might need an extracting tool and then pull the carefully pull the cylinder plug out is the bottom line. Okay, Pretty typical. Um, now, what else are you going to get? You're going to get the cam or the tailpiece, the T-bar. You're going to get the housing. You're going to get the plug. You're going to get the retaining nut. That's everything that you'll need. You'll have to take that apart should it already be assembled. That's just the way it breaks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the screen view and we are going to take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at photographs that we actually have of the item. It's everything you get. It's a BH-015. I know that key is used in other items, so whoever is the original equipment manufacturer for the cylinder, I believe, is also supplying a keyed cylinder lock to the fire extinguisher cabinet industry as well. I believe that's where I've seen that BH-015. There's the housing or the shell, your cam or tailpiece, shown from a different perspective. It allows you to rotate that and manipulate that to retract it and project it. That's the other side. That's the plug itself with the five discs. When you insert the key, they all become flush. That's the spring-loaded clip. Let's also take a look at a side view of the item, top view. That's put together. These pieces are just formed down to keep these disc or wafer tumblers captive. That's the profile of the uh, keyway. These are keyway wards that are here. That's what gives the profile to the cylinder. You can see Well, it's too dark in there to see any of the disc tumblers in there. But nonetheless, that is where they are. The back side of the unit. And then finally, the nut, the cylinder nut, and then the two keys that come with this. Okay, now these are images of actually what we're replacing. This is what the client sent us. This is what we're replacing with the unit. I don't know how old this is, but this is what it looks like that it came out of. I could show you a couple of other images of the unit itself. There's the walk-in cooler and the handle that this works with. A label off the unit itself. Like I said, we don't sell walk-in refrigeration equipment, but Someone who makes refri commercial refrigeration like this certainly needs to buy a lock from someone, and I think that's where someone like us uh, can come into the picture. Okay, And that's an image from the factory itself. That's all that I have to present on this lock. Hopefully the visual review is sufficient. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. 
Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, the trick really is, is getting that cylinder plug out. You're going to need to, um, in order to install this lock into the uh, unit, you saw that that horizontal pull handle there, you're going to have to get that carefully depressed plug pulled out, tailpiece off, housing into where it belongs, cam or tailpiece slid down, then you coax the plug in and that's your installation. Now what I didn't show you was the link below this video to the uh, installation instructions. I'm not, I won't switch back to the camera view for that. Um, I think there's a lot of information there that there, there's a lot of words on that page. It basically boils down to my demonstration. So I'll leave that there as a supporting document for you to review. Any questions on this Thermocool? This is a part number THRM415500 lock, and it does include those installation instructions. Um, and unfortunately, these things are expensive. There they are. If you have any questions on this or any other disc or wafer tumbler lock, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.